Hello everybody, it's House Flipper One Weekend. So, I decided I'm going to buy a new house. Because I can. <laughs> so this is behind the rails. It's got a nice high wall all the way around. And I've cut the grass. So it looks all neat and tidy out here. And we're going to go and have a look at what we have got. A mess, obviously. Um, Maxie's doing well. She's chilled, relaxed. It's just a case of I was like, oh, I feel like I feel like I'm spending a lot of money on my house. I think I need to make some money now. We've only got six and a half million. That's terrible. So we need to make some money here. Uh, let's see what we've got. And while we're walking and talking, I'm going to have a look. All right, so this would probably be the garage. If you come in here, we can probably take that door off and put a garage door on it. I think if I'm not mistaken, when this came out, it was like a vet clinic because this is part of the Pets DLC. So there's a lot of like cages and stuff and other stuff around. You can see this. And my, my thought process is we'll turn it into a house. We've got lots of damaged floors, windows, doors and all the rest. Take that all off and that looks a little bit better. I'm guessing this is the side which actually looks really nice. You could entertain there nicely and need something here. There's just a little side area here before you get to the wall there but need something but it looks good. What did I walk on? Oh that just because it's dirty. Alright another Strange setup here with the pen looking out. We're going to have to do some fun stuff here reorganizing the rooms. So, this is the main door, there's the gate there that we came in. So, that was that side of the house. Uh, now we can look at this side of the house. Wondering what that was. And one little chair. Okay, you can go shortly. Some more, I don't know, cages for animals. thinking I'm going to run out and gonna have to go and get the garbage bin and then I remember it's the other game <laughs> all right let's get rid of this chair we don't need it the main entrance again let's sell those all right so this would be An entrance and then it's basically divided into two sections we've got looks like a little one car garage there we've got bathrooms garage a room 
another room and another room which is remarkably clean there's no dirt to be seen in here so let's go through and start cleaning and see what we end up with. Are we good here? Personally, I think, oh, it's clean. We need to reshuffle this whole thing. I don't have to use no, it's just it's just a shadow. We need to rebuild. Remodel. I don't think we're going to need a dual toilet. What do you say? Knock all the walls down. Clean, clean, clean. Clean and clean. Okay, now we've got to try and figure out what we should do here. I personally think we would have a garage. Take that out. Interesting. See, they took a one of the pavings out of here. See, paving. Is it this? Um, nope. I'll find it. The one thing I do like about the other game, there it is. Okay, right paving. Wrong color. Where's that? Oh, that's why it was. It was forced. And that, oh, hold on. No, it wasn't. That's why it vanished. But it wasn't. All right. So I think we're going to turn this into a garage. But before we turn this into a garage, maybe we need to look at what we want to do on the outside. The outside looks terrible. And it needs some facelift. Paint is the cheapest. So what are we what are we thinking of this place? I'm thinking more of like a a retired executive who's come to the country to chill and relax. Got neighbors over there. Nice, secure house. He doesn't have to worry. There's the train going down there. So, if you were coming into the country, but you didn't want to be too countryfied. You wouldn't paint your house pink. Maybe not. But you know. I'm still leaning towards the peaches and the these sort of colours. We can probably change the colour of the roof as well if we so wish. I'm not leaning towards green. 
porcelain grey is a very pretty colour, but it's again, is this the sort of house? Maybe. These colours are also really pretty. Stylish khaki. Colour is stylish khaki. Wait, I see, shall we? We can try it out on this wall here. That's a pretty nice colour. Okay. What colour is baby powder? Well, we all know what colour baby powder is, but you know what I mean. Wanting to keep the drive, so I actually think that looks pretty good. That's baby powder. We get slightly darker, which I think might be too dark, but maybe not. Ooh. Keep on wanting to go in the wrong direction as usual. Yeah, I think that is. I suppose if we kept I'm going baby powder I have decided we will get a big one we'll use up the little ones and then we can get out the paint gun I like this it, it works nicely with the, the paving as well And yes, we can fly, sort of. We can climb. I think that looks subtle, but cool. not too high I can reach look I'm reaching and we can either go for a white window or we can go oh, we can go brown Alright, bring out the paint gun. Where's my paint gun? First of all, let's do that. I love this paint gun. And it is a single story, so it's not a huge house. I'm sure that our five liters. Well, the big can, what is that? 10 litres? 20 litres? you just fine. I'm interested in this new DLC that's coming out. It's going to be very exciting when it finally arrives. I'm looking forward to it. Ah, ooh, hello, buddy. What color is your house, baby powder? And it smells good, too.
get this done and sold and we can get some more money in in the bank I'm spending way too much money on my own that's empty so awesome let's fill up and keep going need to flip some houses so I'm not sure about the windows I, I, I will have to have a serious think but I th also think what we're going to do is knock out all the interior walls and reshuffle that there's a lot of higgledy piggledy rooms this is a nice going to be a nice entertainment area we can put a pool here boat circling a little scary okay let's go inside and as you can see we lose the paint gun as soon as we come inside and this is like a maze. There's the door. Let's go pick up the paint and take it around the corner. tools in house flipper one i shouldn't call it house flipper one because it's actually just house flipper but still now over the last couple of weeks i took the house flipper one cabin it's called let it snow and i rebuilt it in house flipper two to the best of my ability didn't do the best job in the world because the measurements are a little interesting between the two they don't exactly translate very well one to the other but i don't think i did too bad if you're interested in it um i'll put the link down below in the description of the video and you can have a look if you've got house flipper 2 you can actually download the build mod io i uploaded it unfurnished which means i built the frame i built the shell and then i just put it out there obviously it's the let it snow cabin without the snow because there is no snow in house flipper 2. am i done it looks like oh no i missed a spot damn it <laughs> probably missed a few spots eh? oh why am i doing that i want that is there any paint left in it yes there is i suppose i should go around and look up look, I'm sure there are a couple of those places that i missed no that's not a peak Roof. It's all good. Just take a lap around the the house with the paint gun in my hand. Good here. The spot. Okay, there's the paint back there. So, do we sell it? Or do we keep the paint? I suppose we can keep it because we can probably utilize it for some way. Might as well. Maybe just pop it here. Now these two paints, that one's empty. That one's nearly empty. And that one's too pink. Now, 
I wonder, should we go onto the roof and see what we can do here? There we go. Let's see. I can't change the roof. Damn them. All right. A nice roof. can see where they do me two roofs together I know that feeling okay so we cannot change hold on okay we also can't anything up top here so we've got basically the white down pipes I think we need to either go for a white or a dark wood let's see what this looks like is this one piece I like the door let's see what we can find what's that let's see if we find it That's a, a front door. Now the question would be, would we go for a darker? Gold? white yes I know I have just spent money on this but that's okay white wood and white wood So looks pretty good but I don't know I suppose with the white fence if we put a lot of plants around it it should be fine Let's find us a garage door. What wooden? We don't want sliding. We don't want door. I want, yeah, not those slidings. I want these slidings. Now, that's your standard garage door. I'm guessing that is not wood. This is wood. No. How wide is this driveway?
Yeah, it's way too small. We need the tall one. That's better. Oh, but that's off. I lined it. All right. Lined it up with a driveway. look relatively central on the drive yeah. all right let's get that door again Okay, so that's the lip, not the slide. That's okay, and at least we've got it even. So yay. All right, that is the garage. If that's the garage, we are going to have to make some modifications. This could be a kitchen. Entertainment area. Hmm. Okay, because this is a full wing of the house. And then we come here. And this is basically the entrance. So perhaps we should have Oh, that's dirty. I thought I cleaned everything. up and then close it up again. How does that sound? Love it when it falls down. And this is a bathroom that isn't really a bathroom. So let's sell the fittings. Uh, give me. All right. Got to unscrew it before I can sell it. Can I sell you now? 532, that's a thousand. Awesome, 2,000. I will take it. And then I will bang the deck bash down. Mm. 
really sell a vet clinic or a shop in this game to people properly you've got to have the right rooms in the property to actually make them happy so we've got to convert it to a house Now this is an entrance of some description. We will take this wall out and then we can redesign the flow. It doesn't make sense to have such a big entrance. So that opens it right up and we will probably open it further what is on this side All right, again we are going to open this up because the way it's set up right now and we knock that up yes we can go from here the way it's set up now, you've got to go through a room to get to another room. And sometimes that's a little complicated. As I say, this is the other room, and there's no other way to get to it other than through the one we've just knocked down. There must be a better way of doing it. space or the front door awesome okay and then I think what is in here again another little okay keep going this this whole video is going to be just knocking down walls and then we can I can sit with a piece of paper because you know I, I do paper stuff floor plan and we can rebuild the whole house tomorrow it's like oh we'll buy a house and quickly flip it has that ever happened? I think I have bought this house. I bought this house previously, and, and when I was playing, a while back. 
it's an exterior wall. And I converted it into two apartments pretty much where you had a central entrance and you had two different places where you could live. that's retiring out to the semi-countryside you would want me to relax watch some TV play some games I love how these things balance and then we can also get an idea of size wise for example, this room at the current moment stands at 186 square meters, which is awesome. One thing I did learn how to do in this game was to measure. Because each one of these that I'm knocking down is 25 centimeters, because I work in centimeters and meters. Um, per side. So it's a square column, 25 centimeters. Doesn't really help in while you're playing the game, simply because you don't really get furni much furniture that has got a size on it. So it's still guessing. But what I usually do is if I'm trying to figure out how big to make a bedroom I'll put a bed in it okay front door very large lounge and then we come through here we have the garage which I'm going to leave intact and have a little laundry room we're gonna have a laundry room let's take this away because again there the only way to get to that room is through this one so it's fine for like a dining room to a kitchen one guy's bedroom to the other guy's bedroom. A little complicated. going to replace the windows anyhow so we can always remove windows and replace them now we're going to come up against an exterior wall shortly Here and then 
I run at the end there. Dip over all the all the shards of brick. <laughs> down and last but not least Let's start on the other end and work our way in This is the area that I'm thinking we can have a really nice entertainment area here. We can maybe have patio, barbecue, maybe put a, a little gate in here. These are not removable. That's okay. Got another small section here which really can't be used for much and then we come to the front okay and now the best thing I think to do would be to choose an interior door for the house so we're going to go for the two meter and the one meter and I'm thinking just a plain, a fairly, fairly simple panel door, something like this. Interior door, that's quite nice too. into the garage so we actually have a room that we can actually work with so should we should we complete the garage <laughs> so let's put down concrete gray Ceramic tiles, no, we would like, I don't want a white concrete, I'm looking for the grey concrete, why am I not just doing this, there we go, so we've got the concrete tiles, this concrete. What dark be this one? Very pink. Always forget how pink that is. That'll be fine. That was weird. And we can use the same paint 
this and I'm going to cheat because you can't use the paint gun inside but you can paint actually you know what <laughs> the baby powder is quite pink if I do it like that that's funny how close can I get? I can still get there. Why are you selecting that weirdly? Okay. It went away. Let's do it the real way. Start at this side. Close the garage door to actually paint the top there. Okay, step back and close this and see. Do I need to go? I don't need to paint anything at the top there. Awesome. Alright, so, garage. We have... Now we just need some shelves. I think it's furniture. No, it's furniture. But it's shelves. And steel garage. Let's go for the steel garage. That will work. And then we can probably. I don't know how you make a garage a garage anymore. How do you make a garage a garage? That. And then we can decide light switches. We've got so many light switches to choose from. I think I'm just going to go with a plain white. Simple, square, sleek, nothing too exciting, and healing lights. Now these are pretty good. You can go for the big one. You probably only need one, but we'll put two in. over my head is definitely not centered is it but I'd say that's bright enough we could probably even put a window here when we decide what window we're going to use so garage done okay now that is the front door we could have an entrance. Perhaps a study. This is the very fancy area out here. We could probably put a sliding door. All right, so I 
sorry, I'm, I'm working through my head. That makes sense. Come in your front door. Study area, garage, kitchen, dining room, and then perhaps an entertainment area here. You can have a bar and all kinds of fun stuff that will also lead out onto this area. So we can literally pave, we've got the paving out somewhere here. Here's the paving so we could pretty much bring it all the way along here what's nice about having the kitchen close to the entertainment area is obviously yes you have a barbecue you have all the rest of the goodies but then you can take all your stuff inside and in fact we could probably have a laundry area and a scullery so an area where you've got your sinks and your dishwashers did I do that? sorry all that sort of stuff so that you can just run empty plates, dirty plates, stuff straight in there. Now, the question would be, when we get these, this wall here do we have a small enough paving stone Be patient with it. Come on. <laughs> uh, uh. One more. Yes. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Eat when you have to like finagle it in but then we can actually continue this terrace around because then we can actually let's see of course there's a gap there because we'll say there's a gap there because of the gutter coming down you know? I'm just going to run one more along this side. I don't like the ones with the edges on them because they're pain. So we've got a door there and we can literally put a door somewhere along there so let us sell this get us a 
two by two. I think it's the two by two sliding door. This way. Now the only question will be, well, let's put it there for now. Okay, so personally, I'm going to take this window out of here. Hello, thank you. I'm going to take this window out of here. And we can just start creating a little laundry room. A little storeroom. And then we can do kitchen. And entertainment. But we're moving all these windows out so that we're not confused by the window formations. A little laundry room probably. Installations. We need a where is it? Washer plumbing system. Find a washing machine. Oops. Can't spell. Okay, washing machine. Easiest way to build the room is to build it around. I think I've, in, I've, I've installed more washing machines in this game than I have for ages. We say I don't like doing them. But this house is big enough, it's got space for all kinds of stuff. Then we would like a dryer. Clothes dryer. There we go. Awesome. And we can put a shelf up there. So let us see. We don't need anything more than that. Okay, and then it's one, two, three, four. Awesome. And you've got, we can probably put a small window in here when we figure out what window we want. If that makes sense. We can use that door. Yes, we still have it. space here to put a shelf. Now I think I'm going to use the same concrete. 
because why not? And where did I put that paint? I'll put some tiles up. Maybe. Do we need tiles? Not really. Let's paint. We bought the pen for the outside and we'll just use it for the utility rooms. We can probably even put one of the electric boxes in here. Awesome. should we put in here we need shelves for it to become a laundry room not decorations furniture we want shelves or cupboards Concentrating very, very hard. It's 100. No, we're not registering as. A shelf. Just doesn't fit, does it? The laundry room. Officially, the laundry room. laundry basket which is very cool let's go for an oak what do you say that would fit really well right there awesome We don't have any soaps and, and stuff, but we do have many, many folded towels that stack. Which is awesome. Shampoo, we 
which can be considered something and we have I don't think the rubber ducks would no but we can also there's a hanging towel here somewhere at the bottom there it is on the wall somewhere I don't know there we go and we can stack some containers Fifty going to be too big. It's the tall one. Will it fit here? Yes, it does. It's like it was meant to. Awesome. And then the last time I used these bins. As storage so you can use them they really useful for thank you really useful for looking like they're actually softener dishwasher um, washing powder whatever storage you want might as well do all the colors what do you say there we go if not why not and maybe this is a different wicker. Top here. Jumped onto the washing machine last time and it worked. Let's do that. So we have a couple of odds and ends in here. We can maybe put some bottles. Jars. Or something. something like this and we know for a fact you can't see through this anymore so it doesn't matter that you don't know what's inside it because basically who knows what's inside it there we go all we need is a light fitting you this one didn't we And light. I'll use the long one in the garage so this one will be perfect. Awesome. One laundry room. Done. The next we can do is a storeroom. We'll use pretty much the same sort of layout here. We oh, why am I doing that? We just need two. Why 
quite a big area here. the door again. Light two. Yeah, exactly the same setup, seeing as I've got that. And I've got that. if I'm not mistaken. As I say, we can probably put some small windows into both of these rooms when we decide what windows we're going to use. We can match the type of window style. We just put little ones in here. Awesome, and we've still got a bit of paint left. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there are these shelves. I think the wide entry shelf will work well in here. Wow, instant storm. Okay. So I have, we don't have a garage yet because I haven't figured that one out. But we have a laundry room and we have a storeroom. And then we are going to come into the kitchen. Now the question I have is I'm two out so we can I was thinking of putting an arch here but to do that we need to mangle Where's the line there? If we take it back and then bring it out, it's going to give a little kink in there, which is a little silly. Because if I do that, 
we're going to have to take it out that way. Something for me to think about. It's fine. We will come back to that. But my, my thought process is... No, this can be a passageway. Taking this away, and I'm taking this away because that is going to be a sliding door out that way. But I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put the sliding door. But interestingly enough, this goes back two blocks, but if I take it back two blocks, it's even worse. Hmm. Maybe not because I was thinking of putting sink, dishwasher, things like that in there, and then building a large kitchen here. A little dining area, maybe a breakfast nook there. And a fancy dining room on that side. Maybe. At least we just swapped it all the way around and did the kitchen here. Because that will also work. We can always, because these will be really nice bedrooms. We can have a nice big bedroom here with the bathroom and probably two kids bedrooms or two kids bedrooms two other bedrooms here kitchen dining room and then that whole area can be living room entertainment area that might work okay what I'm thinking of doing, I was thinking of just building a little entrance area there, but maybe not. Let's take these windows away. But then if we're having the kitchen here, Wall in here to create the kitchen. All right, I'm going to sit and stare at this for a little bit longer, but I'm also going to leave it here now because otherwise you'll be staring at with me. So thank you so much for watching. If you've got this far, please consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely day. Bye for now.